guys, it's Rachel. Welcome back to my channel. So last night we got episode four of Midnight's Mayhem with me and Taylor told us the title of track six, which is Midnight Rain. And oh my gosh, I have never been more excited to talk about this with you guys. I honestly have no idea um, what it'll be about. However, I do know how excited I am and how um, I have very, I love all of Taylor's songs. Like every single one of Taylor's songs, I absolutely love. I'm not just saying that they just hit at different moments. You know, sometimes you're feeling different songs at different points or, you know, on a rainy day, you might feel different or a sunny day in the summer, spring, winter, fall. It kind of just depends when the song is hitting the most. Um, but where I'm going with that is I have very... Like, I have an all-time favorite Taylor Swift song list, okay? And I have a feeling that Midnight Rain is going to be on that list. Some of those songs include Mary's Song, Cornelia Street, Dancing With Our Hands Tied, just to name a couple. And Midnight Rain is the most Taylor Swift song that has probably ever existed. If you know Taylor, you know that she loves mentioning wee hours of the morning. It's 2 a.m. feeling like I just lost a friend. Midnight, you pick me up, no headlights. It's 2 a.m. in my room. Headlights pass, the window pane, I think of you. Taylor Swift is always singing about late night. So honestly, in general, the Midnight's era is so Taylor. So Taylor. And... It's one of those album titles that like we should have seen coming because the woman loves to write about late night feelings. So, and then she also loves to write about the rain. With you I dance, in a storm in my best dress fearless, meet me in the pouring rain, kiss me on the sidewalk, take away the pain. We bless the rains on Cornelia Street. The woman loves a good storm. So first and foremost, I want to say, please let it rain the next time I see Taylor Swift and she better sing Midnight Rain. I can already tell you that the song's going to be one of my favorites. This is the most excited I am for any of the songs on the track list so far. That is very bold. However, I just know with me knowing how much she loves writing late at night and how much she loves rain, that this is going to be just an absolute good good song now i don't know if it's going to be a ballad i don't know if it's going to be an absolute bop i'm kind of thinking that it's going to start off with a piano intro and i know i've said that a lot however i just see it or maybe like sound effects of rain that sounds like very something like that taylor swift would do i am stoked Okay, so I think, and if this is true, I'm going to lose my mind. Just everybody, if it's a crossover of Delicate and Cornelia Street, everybody just like, as you're listening to the song, go, oh my gosh, Rachel's probably on the floor. Okay, I love Delicate. Delicate is one of my favorite, favorite songs of... I almost said off Dancing with Her Hands <laughs> off Reputation. And Cornelia Street is my favorite song on Lover. Now, people are saying this, and I'm also saying this because we bless the rains on Cornelia Street. Memorize the creeks in the floor. Then you've got the delicate music video where she's literally dancing in the rain. Now, I do want to mention this too. Taylor pulled track six on the sixth year anniversary of her and Joe starting to date. That could be pure coincidence, but that could also be Taylor being like, it's a love song. So I'm going to take that and run with it. I honestly think that this song might be about just the beginning of something beautiful and embracing those moments like I think it will be like we bless the rains on Cornelia Street memorize the creeks in the floor I love that lyric so much in Cornelia Street because it's so simple 
it's so simple to say, oh, like, it's a rainy day out. But like we're embracing it because we're getting to know each other. We're creating new memory memories together. We're memorizing like the creaks in the floor. Like we're getting to know everything about each other. If anybody knows anything about Taylor Swift, it's that she loves a good metaphor. Memorize the creaks in the floor, meaning I want to know everything about your heart. Like I literally want to know what you did yesterday. I want to know what is in your heart like i want to know all your stories and what makes you tick as a person so it could be something like that but on the other hand it could be a song maybe about um her not being able to sleep hearing it rain out her thoughts are the rain that could also be something maybe maybe she's having um you know anxiety about something in her life and maybe maybe the rain is really her thoughts and her intrusive thoughts that are causing her her demons that she's not being able to sleep i'm thinking now that i say that maybe maybe that's it but we won't know until the album comes out however i can tell you i am absolutely stoked for this song like oh my gosh i i you guys this is going to be I think one of my favorite songs on the album with no context except the fact that like I said Taylor Swift loves writing about late night situations and she also loves writing about the rain and so those two things combined I I I have a feeling that this is just going to be on my all-time favorite Taylor Swift song list right there with cornelia street right there with dancing with her hands tied mary's song superstar there's so many that i have that are like my ultimate favorite taylor swift songs and i think i want to do a video on that eventually so if you guys want to know those definitely let me know i think i'll probably do it after midnight's is released because i have a feeling midnight rain will literally be on that list so yeah you guys i i don't necessarily know what to say except I think it's just gonna it's gonna hit I don't know what it's gonna sound like in terms of sound I think there will be great production to it I honestly predict it to maybe be a bop I'm sensing a bop it, either we're going to be crying in the rain or dancing in the rain like you know either or take your pick Miss Swift and I'm here for it because either way I love it but my best guess would probably be maybe that the rain is her thoughts you know rain came pouring down and rain can also resemble you know feelings of you know anxiety or unsureness or it could be a bunch of different stuff <laughs> so we're gonna find out on october 21st and i want you guys to know how excited i am for the song so when you listen to the song I, I hope that you guys are like, oh my gosh, Rachel, what is she thinking right now? And I'm probably screaming, as I will be tracks literally 1 through 13, and then with the bonus tracks for Target. I'm so curious to know what the two remixes, like what songs are remixed for the, for the Target edition. That will be interesting, but I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think this song is about below. Because, personally, I I don't know. Uh, I have, like, you know, I have a prediction. But it's all in good fun. We don't know, except for the title. So, that that's where we have it right now. So, I love you guys so much. And I do want to say, too, I like doing these videos during the day after. Because it gives me time to, like, think about it. If I pulled out my camera at midnight to like sit down and film this reaction or you know my predictions in general I feel like I would I wouldn't have as much of a concept because the next morning I wake up and that's literally the first thing I think about I'm like okay like what do I think this is about like what do I think the vibes gonna be what do I think it's gonna be about are we gonna be crying in a corner are we gonna be dancing you know, those kind of questions. So I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. I truly am enjoying doing this so much. So 
I love you guys. I hope this video entertained you in some way, and I sincerely hope I see you, yes you, in the next one. Bye guys.